Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to talk about coordinate input in SketchUp. So with coordinate input, what I'm talking about is going to an XYZ coordinate specifically from, from, from a location to that location. So rather than saying, you know, move my mouse in this direction this far, uh, actually typing in the exact coordinate of the point you want to get to. SketchUp actually does this automatically. Uh, it's not something we, we show a whole lot because the intended workflow is to use your mouse to set a direction and then type in the dimension. Um, that's most of the work we do. So you can draw a line, click one point, move to where you want the second point, type in the exact dimension and it'll adjust that. Same with rectangles, same, same idea. But it does have the ability to work with coordinates. So if you're in a spot where you got to jump to an absolute coordinate or something like that, we can do that. Let's look at how to do it right now. All right, so uh, one thing to note is when we start talking about coordinates, that the origin, right, this right here where all my lines come together, this is zero, 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 zero to be more specific. Um, so if, if I go in and start defining uh, an absolute point, it is relative to zero, zero, zero being right here. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about uh, absolute coordinates. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a line and I'm gonna start from zero, zero, zero. And let's say I want to go to the point that is over two feet, the green axis two feet, and then vertical two feet. So somewhere right up here in 3D space. If I wanna get there, what I would do normally with edges is I'd move my, my cursor along the red axis here, type in 24, enter, that'll give me that first edge. I'm gonna come up the green axis, 24, enter, and then go up the blue, 24, enter. That point, the top of this line now, is two foot up over and above the origin. So I draw a line there. That line now goes from the origin to 24, 24, 24. Now, that's not, I mean, that wasn't painful. I, I did that. I was even talking that whole time and it went pretty quick. But let's see how we could use absolute point input to get to that same spot. So I'm going to start at the origin and I'm going to type square bracket. If you look down at my measurements box on lower right corner, it now says length and I have two square brackets there. I don't have to type both square brackets in, just hitting open square bracket. We'll put both of those in there. And now when I start to type a, a number, it'll show up inside that bracket. So if I put 24 comma 24 comma 24 and hit enter, it's jumping to that same point right there next to this, this handsome fellow's leg. This is absolute coordinate input. And it does have to do with positive, negative coordinates. So if I come in here and I type in square bracket, minus 24 comma 24 comma 24, enter, it'll go negative on the red axis, up the green axis 24, and then up the blue axis 24. Likewise, we can come over here, square bracket, minus 24, comma, minus 24, comma, 24. I'm just leaving this all in the positive blue, so I'm, I'm ending with a positive 24. That'll come up here, and then of course, one more, start right here, square bracket, 24, comma, minus 24, comma, 24. That'll get us, uh, positive on red, negative on green, and then up the blue axis. So that's what that does. So that's two foot in each of the positive blue quadrants. Now, again, this is absolute. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this fellow right here. And I'm gonna grab a point kind of just arbitrarily right here. Now, if I did that same input, I'm gonna hit square bracket, 24 comma 24 comma 24. When I hit enter, it jumps right back to here because again, these are absolute points. These are locations from zero, zero, zero. So it doesn't matter where I'm at. If I type square bracket 24, 24, 24, it's going to draw my edge back to here. Now, if I was to start right here and I wanted to go relative to this, so I wanted, I wanted to go this way, 24, up the green axis, 24, up the blue axis, 24, I want to get to that point from the end of this point right here. I can do that by typing an angle bracket. There's a little uh, parity shaped ones, little, little triangular guys down by the M key. When I hit that, then I can type 24 comma 24 comma 24. And when I hit enter, 
it's going to draw an edge 24, 24, 24 relative to the start point. So that's how I could get to there. So again, if I come right here again, just another arbitrary point, I hit angle bracket 24, comma 24, comma 24, enter. It's parallel to this because it's moving the same distance relatively from this start point as I did from this start point. And that's that holds true for, for any of these points. So if I come over here again, angle bracket minus 24, comma 24, comma 24, that one's going to be parallel to this because it's moving over to up to vertical two, just like that line was, but it's going relative from this starting point, which was apparently somewhere down below. This is one of the dangers of, uh, of uh, not working with points, I suppose. <laughs> I just kind of clicked a spot well below the origin. But you can see, despite that, it doesn't really matter. It still went up, over, and vertical to two foot and gave me a line that was parallel to this one right here, which we know did that same, same kind of movement. So I know this was kind of short and simple, but it's really kind of a short and simple process. If you want to move absolute that is from zero 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 to a point when you go into when you go to, to define your length just hit that square bracket type in your xyz coordinates if you want to go relative so starting at whatever point you have chose to go to another point angle brackets well carrot brackets and then put in your values there it's simple it's pretty easy it's not i mean it's not a, a tool where you're going to go in if you have to put in a hundred different points or something like that you can absolutely do that. It's just not going to be very much fun, to be totally honest with you. But uh, it's there. So if you ever need that, if you need to jump to that point, something like that, you can do it. It is pretty quick and easy to do. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. Have you used compo er, co coordinate input? Got to the end of the video and forgot what it was called. I just said coordinate too many times, used it all up, couldn't say it again. Have you used coordinate input yourself and how has that gone for you? Do you have an idea that would you think would make another good video? If so, let us know down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.